Hey everybody, welcome back to Fairville Plays Undermine. Summoning Stone is still set to level 8. You know what? It's time to get some upgrades. What, what are you? Increased range damage? Sign me up. It's half our money. Should be useful at the very least. That's the last one. Alright. Let's buy some HP. We now have 420 HP. That's it. That's it. It's This is the magic number. Look, last run... I'm gonna lower it just a little bit, a little loud. Dude, starting with three keys is really nice. I am gonna keep the spirit. Uh, and it's not that I wanna play, it's it's not that I don't wanna play around with the other pets. It's just that, um, I don't know if you've noticed. Oh, good, great. Bomb damage size increase. This is, this is gonna be one of those runs, huh? Okay. It's not that I don't wanna try the other pets. It's just that the game, I, look, I, I hate complaining about the same thing pretty much every day, but like as a millennial, let's be honest, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, until the game wants to give me some random freaking unlocks, I really can't do anything about it. And, and you know what? Excuse me, I can't jump apparently. Right, because I'm in oil. And you know what? This is something that, you, you know, I try to be helpful. And, I, and I'm sorry to start the video with me being like, oh good, Fairville's already salty. And it's... <sighs> Fairville's already salty and it's like first thing in the morning. Hey, well, yeah, well you know what? Look, game dev story, you know, it's me, Fairville. You may recognize me from the Discord. Can you, like, not have every single... This is a weird item room. You know what? Sure. Give me the Bramble Vest. Whatever. I'll, I'll take it. I, it's not like we have anything... It, it's not like I could re-roll it or anything. You might recognize me from the Discord, but, um... Hmm... Exuberance, please. If you could maybe not have it so that every single item in the game is a random unlock, that'd be really nice for me. Like, I'd appreciate that a tremendous amount. Is this worth it? I believe this is worth it. Everything in this game is worth it as long as you don't take any damage. And then even if you do take damage, as long as it's not enough to kill you. I got so scared for like a split second where I thought that was a mimic. And I'm happy that it's not. Alright. Yeah, we got we got some HP out of that. I'm, I'm getting a little salty at the fact that everything in this game is a random unlock. And on top of that, it just seems that I have the worst luck out of everyone who's ever played this video game. Now, I'm not saying that it's affecting our runs. However, last episode, we did make it down to Ponzu, which is good. You know, we're, we're, able, to, we're, we're able to get down to the la quote-unquote last floor pretty much every episode. And, and for somebody like me who was, I think, struggling a little bit in the, in the early game, that's like, oh my god, dude. As somebody who was struggling in the early game, that's really nice to see, you know? It proves that I have, in fact, gained a basic understanding as to how to be successful in this video game. But dude, last run was a freaking nightmare. <laughs> I saw the writing was on the wall earlier than I would like to admit it. But like yeah, as soon as if, if you get down to like oh, he's done it. If you get down to the to the final floor and you have like barely two rows of items, I think that's you know, your chances of walking away with a W on that one, it's pretty much for somebody of my skill level, pretty low. I think that's fair to say. Everything else, you know, is, we can only do so much. However, Okay, you know, always look on the bright side of life, brother. Okay, I'm not a fan of getting hit so much right now. Maybe your boy has to slow it down, but we do have a secret room. So hopefully, hey, who knows? Maybe an unlock, dude. But I think, um, what's the benefit of this run? I really, really want to blow that up. Like, you actually don't understand. I really want to blow that up. That's probably an unlock. Give me one bomb. You give me a bomb, I blow it up. Okay. I don't know if grass can can drop bomb, but if this is the case, I know you drop bomb ironically, but not in a way that actually helps me. So that's a little, that's fine. It's a little precarious. Not the button I want to press. All right, we go down. We continue on. Our benefit for this run, it's very simple. Uh, we only have to beat Ponzu. All the other bosses dead. Oh, good. Now you give me the bomb, huh? All right. Now I see. I look. I get it. See, the game can't troll me anymore with uh, with curses or anything just because I'm too good. I've, I've, I've learned how to deal with that stuff. My god, he's done it. Now, you know how the game is gonna troll me? It's just never gonna give me any unlocks. Alright, we gotta, we gotta slow the roll on the DPS that has been slowly accuing itself. What are you? Deals less swing damage? Eh, that's pretty bad. But it's not, it's not the end of the world. Alright, 24. Also, we're coming up to the ends of, to the end of our, uh, our, our upgrade path. Which is nice, because that means that pretty soon, and by pretty soon, I mean, like, I think, like, starting maybe even after this run, 
Uh, all of our money is going to be going towards upgrades. Or, or, or upgrades as in the sense of like, you know, I'm buying all these potions just because I want to get this boy leveled up. And he is just starting now. All of our upgrades, and by that I mean like stuff we can buy at the shop. Which is honestly, it's like, it's really nice for, for my own mental acuity. Now that I can focus on just having good runs, really it takes a lot of pressure off me. And you might be saying like, weren't you always focusing on having good runs? No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Up until recently, and by and by that I mean like literally until the last episode, I was just focusing on winning, or at the very least getting to the point where you see how much that fire goes, or at least getting to the point where I can win comfortably. We've 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 hit that that maximum. Summoning stone eight is where things are gonna get a little bit spicy, and I hate to say it, but I do see the new direction of the game is basically um, if you just get comboed in the wrong direction, you're gonna die. And if that's happening at, like, Summoning Stone 8, I have no idea how we're going to manage Summoning... Okay, stop getting hit by everything, dude. It's early in the day, but you have had your... Men you you've had your Tim Hortons double-double. You're gassed up. You're primed up. You're dealing with the, you know, the, the Canadian morning that you thrive on. You know what, sure. Give me Wayland's boots. Whatever. Not having to worry about spikes. Is, does it help us? Does it help us towards our end goal of killing Ponzu? No. Does it help us get there? Yeah. And also it does like, it, it does kind of take away some of the challenge from some of the more nefarious curse rooms or puzzle rooms, if you will. What are the chances there's like a mine like right here and I could save that bomb, huh? Not good. Yo, but the key though. Oh, redemption arc. Give me a pet. Okay. All right. We drink that. Arthritis is fine. Heal a little bit. That's what I wanted. I think these you bomb. And you get something. You get a bomb. Was that worth it? Hmm. I mean, like, technically, yes. But in a way, not really. What did, what did, what did we even get out of that? We got two potions, right? Yes. Okay. So we, that basically that torch gave us literally nothing. I do want to check these rooms. This will be a... Uh, well, I mean, I say this now. But hopefully this will be a, a faster run. Only because we're not going to be dealing with, with uh, Celt, we're not going to be dealing with the Golem, we're not going to be dealing with Nori. We're just straight up trying to get as much Gucci gang upgrades as we possibly can until we get down to the Ponzu fight. Once we get down to the Ponzu fight, that's really where like I need to learn how to how to be good at this game. We're going to save the potion of True Sight. We're going to we're going to chug it like as soon as we go down and then we're going to be on the lookout for any and all potential secrets that we might be able to make use of. That one I can't do, huh? You know what? New era of Fairville. I it's it's really easy for me to sit here and blame the game and be like, "Well, game, how come you're never going to give me any upgrades?" I see that one too, huh? Okay. 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 I think we go for both. It's going to be really easy for me to sit here and blame the game and say, Game, why aren't you giving me any new unlocks? You know, it's been like 14 freaking episodes and I'm still dealing with stuff. Meanwhile, I'm watching people that are on episode like 3 of Undermine and they're like, Oh, I have this new item that I've never seen before and I'm getting a little salty about that. No, no, no. It's easy for me to do that. And as a millennial, I think it's my basic instinct to do that. But you know what we're going to do? We're going we're gonna to make a conscious effort to get every single potentiality for an unlock. All it is, feel positive. Thorium chest, you have a blueprint. I know you do. Okay. You know, if anything, these cron like these videos that are that were putting up on YouTube, I'm gonna post every single one of them to the Discord. I'm gonna tag the freaking devs. I'm gonna be like, can you explain ex like exactly how these drop mechanics work in your video game? Because I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, it's it's getting a little bit ridiculous. Yo, great secret room, dude. We got our bombs back and a key. And actually, we actually, we gained a bomb out of this. Maybe secret rooms are really good in this game, and I've just never paid attention to it. I'm going to drink some coffee. Mm. Okay. What was the thing? If I could blame one thing that caused us to have a, a subpar run last episode, I think it was lack of... Oh, okay. I didn't want to buy that, but sure. Give me the Kurt Stash. Early in the game, good to have. Float boots, in addition to the Wayland's boots, we can now fly and walk over spikes. Massive. Do we want Impish Key Bomb? I don't think we want it, but I think we will carry it around with us. Chances of being able to reroll anything in that room are pretty slim. And, and at this point, we're just looking for, we're looking for more stuff. So, alright. I'm happy with what we have. 
We now have the ability to fly. I can walk on spikes. Does that help us? I mean, like, not in an immediate situation. I should check these rocks to see if there are any uh, secrets and then have the boy just boom them up, alright? Yeah. Do the Wayland Spikes does, in fact, let... Okay. Alright. Positivity is, 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 is flowing through my body now. I didn't know why I never tried this, but uh, you could use the Wayland Spikes or the Wayland Boots to just completely counteract any of the, the Spitter Boys. I and I wonder, like, what else we can use that on. Like, if you can use the Wayland's boots to stop Nori's... Not Nori. Ponzu and his, like, crystal barrage. That would also be, like, really, really good. Oh my god, is this a choose one? Yeah. Well, I mean... It's a pretty obvious choice, I hate to say. You gotta go for the increased damage. Yeah, more swing damage. The other one's not even, a, not even an option, dude. I, I, I am looking forward to the update, only because I, I, I want more. <laughs> And maybe I want more because I've been so starved for unlocks in this game, but I, I want more stuff, dude. What are you? Just money and, like, probably a bomb? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it was. Wow, Fairville, you're so good at guessing this game. Yeah, it's because it, I'm not actually doing this commentary live. I'm actually... What I do for every single Undermine video that's... That, if you haven't noticed, is, like, an hour and a half long. Is that... Throw. Start... Yeah, start, start chucking, brother. If you haven't noticed, they're all, like, an hour and a half long. But I play through the entire video game... And then after that, I, I rewatch it, and then I do live commentary over it, basically, because, you know, it's not it's not enough for me to just make, like, a an hour-long video. I also have to increase that work time by, like, another two hours. Plus, you know, then there's editing and everything on, on top of that. My editor hates it, though. Who's my editor? Oh, you don't know him. His name's me. Yeah, you know, he's a good guy, but you know, sometimes he can be a little bit pretentious. Wow. Past Fairville, you really just bombed yourself into a secret room that you've already been into? By the way, this is a joke. If you think it... First, it's, okay, this has been brought up before, which is why I think it was in my subconscious. But, like, somebody asked, it's like, do you do all your commentary live? And I'm like, of course I do my commentary live. Have you seen my videos? You think I'm going to sit there for, like, an egregious amount of time? And then, like, also go back and, like, do everything after that? And, but, first of all, there's no way I would do that. I don't have that attention span. And if, if that was how I made these videos, chances are we wouldn't just be doing it at all. Yo, Knight's Pendant is banging. And if we could get a little bit of HP, I think it can be uh, a, a nice pickup. You know what I would love to have? Just give me Keyblade, dude. Give me the Keyblade, free my soul, I want to get lost in your rock and roll. One of the, you know, I guess this shouldn't be something that I should be proud of, if, if we're being 100% honest with each other. But I think, like, one of the things that I like the most about my video... More swing damage, I think you want? Yeah. Reduce maximum health. We can also just purge one of these. Um, I would very much like to get some more potions, though. It's gonna take a while. As soon as this guy hits level 2, we're gonna be fine. And also, keep in mind, we're only, like, on the 4th floor, so... We still have, like, quite a bit of ways, uh, in order to progress. So I, I shouldn't be worried too much. I will be worried, just not too much. You know, one of the nice things about my videos is... And, and this is going to sound like a negative, but I really do think that it is a positive for somebody like me. My videos require, like, almost zero editing. Like, at all. Dude, another shop that has almost nothing. Okay, this is good. We're going to buy that. We're going to chug it. We're going to buy this. We're going to chug it. One more potion should be enough to get him up there. Yeah, we'll take the troll sweat. We are a little bit of low, a little, a little low on the HP. Honestly, this whole shop... Quality. I don't really need the food right now because we have our health potion that'll probably be lasting for quite a while. He's level two. We now have a chance to find more potions every time we pop open a chest. We do also have some decent curses right now, which means our chance of getting a deal with the devil are higher than they normally would be. And I think it increases every time you don't get one too. So I'm happy with the way this is working out so far. Bomb that. Peep your boys. Found nothing, found a key. He's done it. What do you have down here? It's an unlock. I'm feeling it in my core. Another choice. Okay. I believe so, right? Choose. Increase gold income. Eh. I, I take the strength. We have three stacks of strength. That's really nice. Anyway, yeah, yeah. My videos, like, they don't require much editing. And by much editing, I mean, like, they don't require, like, any editing. The most, like, you know, let's say I... If I put out an Undermine video and it's like an hour long, probably like the total amount of work that went into making that video is like an hour and... An hour and like ten minutes, maybe, right? 
Because then I, I gotta, like, make the thumbnail, which I make ahead of time, and, you know, I make them in batches, so I only have to do it, like, once a week, which is really nice, because for some reason, making thumbnails is, like, the most cursed thing that you could do as a YouTube content creator. It's just so boring, dude, and all I do is, like, change a number. Either way. And then there's, like... Copy and pasting the description and, you know, keeping things going like that. It's, so it's not much work, but at the same time, you know, there is more work to be done than just, Hey, everybody, my name is Farival. Welcome to D D Dude Plays Undermine Poorly for like an hour and a half, you know? Man, our swing damage is, is getting up there. Is it kill Ponzu level? Not yet. Sonic Boom, throw really fast. I like it. It helps us in, in a way that is not necessarily immediate, but it does synergize really well with Guidance, which honestly, if it shows up, guess what? It's it's coming, dude. Let's peep these, like, super fast. Okay? One secret up here. Toss me, brother. Thank you. Okay? Keep checking, dude. Nothing here. That's fine. What about down here? Nothing. All right. Dude, once I learned that you could use these ogres to, like, basically have an unlimited supply of free bombs for as long as they survive in this world, game has been changed completely. I believe this one, you drop, toss, and bomb. That is, in fact, correct. I'd very much like, yep, a single potion. All right. Deal and take more damage. Um, not my favorite. I'll be honest with you. It, it's, it's not a good potion. But it, it could help us clear out some rooms, too. I'm just like, I'm very paranoid after the last run where we just died immediately. I'd very much just like to keep everything, uh, you know easy and, and free flowing if I could afford if I could avoid just taking unlimited damage that's really all I want all right well we're done the first set of floors we're gonna be going down dude and funnily enough despite not having to fight a boss we're pretty much like on average time for getting down to dungeon one which is hilarious to me I like I'd like to see how fast I could get through an undermine video and I'm not trying to say that because of, like, you know, lack of time or anything like that. I, I have my schedule set up to, to be beneficial to me and other people like me. And this was a conscious choice. However, I was on, like, the Discord for Undermine. Which, by the way, once again, if you haven't joined that, you should, dude. Can I do this? He's done it! Okay, lots of keys and we got our bomb back. And we actually... Okay, okay, okay. We have the Mimic Curse. Mimic Curse, my favorite curse in the game. I really like it. I think it's it's one of those things that, in my opinion, it shouldn't be a curse. It should be an item. And I, I mean that, like, with the most love. But knowing that all of your chests are mimics, it's, it's a huge benefit. I don't have to worry about wasting keys on chests anymore as long as I remember for, like, once in my life that they are, in fact, all mimics. And then on top of that, everything's free. Oh, my God. Hello? This is new. And an unlock, too. I'm gonna talk to you, but first, what are you? Rare blueprint discovered! Hungry ghost! Oh, finally! Kurtz. Oh, dude! I have your box, man! Have you spoken with my crew? A seasoned bunch they are. Thank you for releasing me. I would not have lasted much longer. I will return to the surface that wizard owes me for all that I have done for him. Found his crew, huh? Oh no, our souls are forfeit. We have become like animals. I will soon reap what I have sown. Yeah, Kurtz is crazy. But we did what we had to do. Rest in peace, Biggs. Oh no. I don't like the way Kurtz looks at me or other crew members. I am sure he's gone mad. I like how he's the one who wrote all of this. And by the way, you know, I might as well give this man an existential crisis. Let's just destroy it. Let's demolish his team. Also, how come this man is over here living in like... 3019 where he gets like undermined DLC that lets him play with like up to three of his friends. Uh, excuse me devs. When is that gonna be access to the rest of us? Also, my god I finally got an unlock. I'm so happy. <laughs> Alright. Positives. Now, I didn't even right, right, anyway, I was on the Undermine Discord which once again, go check it out. It's really good. Lots of nice people there including myself. There's, like, people that are speedrunning this game, and I think, like, as of right now, the, the record is, ooh. Avoid falling into holes. Recover his health. I'm just gonna buy everything, just because I really want this dude to get up to level 3. And you know what? Sure, let's feel the effects of potions for a little bit longer. We have a lot of money to spend. Yep, that's helpful, too. Now, I really don't want to get rid of curses right now. Which is, that's not a mimic, huh? Alright, that's fair. I d actually don't want to get rid of my curses. 
Now, if we do pick up curses that are genuinely horrible, like Tenderfoot or like... Or, or coffers or whatever it is, tariffs or the one that makes it so that shops cost like 14 trillion keys in order to open up. Um, yeah, those ones we might want to start working on getting rid of. However, I really do think the Mimic Curse is like a huge benefit to us and I would, I just, I, I want to keep it, dude. What are you? Free food in the shop. Okay, okay. You know what? This is fine. Let's get rid of all the, um, all the boring items first, you know, the ones that aren't going to help us. And then when we get down to the floors that matter, uh, that's when you give me stuff like the crown and the iron branch and, you know, the battle standard. Sure. But for now, yeah, no problem, dude. Kurt's stash is also going to be popping open. We should be getting ready for that. And how do we get ready for that? We have the spirit. We just hope for, like, an egregious amount of uh, item doubling potions. And we just wait for it to pop. And then we just get everything that we need and beat the game easily. With that being said, I am probably going to grab another curse. Mmm... None of this is good. Increase max HP is good. Inflation is fine. We have more than enough money to cover up for it. I'm happy with this. Okay, good floor. Just like that, my god, man. It took like a single item on... I know the Thorium's there, but like honestly, I have like 293 of them. What are the chances that I need... If I need more than like... If I need 300 Thorium to unlock whatever that thing was, sure, my bad. But I don't think it matters. Either way, what was I talking about? Yeah. So right now, the world speed record for, like, clearing Undermine, which, by the way, I'm assuming is from start to finish. If it ends up just being, like, a, you know, get down to and kill Ponzu, then sure, whatever. But I think it's, like, it's, like, under 25 minutes right now, which is insane to me. I like to think that I go, like, relatively qu Actually, no, that's not true. I mean, if, if you were to speedrun this game, I haven't watched it, by the way, because, like, who, look, who has 25 minutes to watch an Undermine video? Are you kidding? <laughs> that's, that's way too much time to spend in this video game. Thank God these videos are a more sensible amount of time, like, I don't know, an hour and a half or something like that. That's fine, too. I haven't watched it, but I, I, I guess, like, how would you even want to progress through that? Hey, my bomb, dude. I was really hoping that was a secret. I honestly believed for a second. If we do not get our hands on a uh, deal with the devil man soon, I'm going to lose my mind. Give me more swing damage. We're up to four stacks of that now. And now our curses are starting to become maybe a little bit of an issue. On top of that, yo, Kurt Stash, you, you're you're like six away from being busted open. You're a mimic. Yep, I remember, dude. Doesn't matter if you are, in fact, a money chest. Play it safe, play it safe. Watch out for the Beyblades. Get your cashola. Get out. There is a secret room down there. We're gonna go the long way around. I don't trust myself with with these high octane like curse rooms or anything like that. Yo, more exuberance would be like probably my the best thing ever that could happen to me. I try to play these games like relatively quickly too. It's just that like, dude, there's a lot you gotta do, and these videos are only gonna get longer too when the new update comes out, which I think is, you're not a mimic. Okay, you got Thorium back. Look at that. See, he's done it. My god, man. There is a new update coming out relatively soon, which, if you do have the beta ba branch, yes, you can try it out for yourself. Uh, I don't have the beta branch. I know I should probably download it. And here's the thing. And, and, and look, I mean this with love. You know, the, uh, it's not that I don't like this game, but they're like, if you download the beta branch, it's a good chance that, like, your save file might get corrupted. And, and I know, like, you know, there's stuff that you could do to prevent that and back it up and, and save yourself. I'm a coward. And I have like 25 hours in this game right now, so I really don't want to lose all of that. Alright. Good. This is, a, this is a good run. I'm going to re-roll everything here. Even that. Pilfer's Ring I like, but not that much. Nope, not going to take that one. But we did re-roll into another Potion of Plenty, which is incredible. So that's just more stuff on the floor. What are we looking for? I, I, honestly, like I'll be happy with a decent Potion or like a really good Relic. My god, dude. This is incredible. All right, we now no longer have any potions, and I guess we're taking that bomb with us. You? Acceptable. Sometimes dropping meat, kind of what we need in our current situation. I'm going to take a, a kind of a little risk here, and we're going to pick that up. We didn't get rid of the mimics. That's fine, too. I think we buy out the rest of it, and then we just be happy. We, we say, thank you, Mr. Game, for giving me a decent shop. We continue on. Dude, I'm... I'm I'm so positive about this run right now. It's, it's been done! What did I say? 
You get the, the, the C tier items out of the way. The game is... Oh, he's done it. Okay, we need to be careful about what we take. Um, I really don't want Curtis Stash to pop. It won't pop. Free item every shop or the Null Stone. You gotta take it. What in God's name are you? New and more dangerous pilfers. Decrease potion duration, whatever. Venomous is bad. Um, we could get rid of one of them. We could get rid of two of them. You know what? Sure. Okay, that's fine. Didn't like that one. Okay, we still have the mimic. I would like you to heal, please. Okay. I have no idea what these are. No stone, massive upgrade. Let's us let's us do a lot of things, including well, I mean, walking, walking on spikes and stuff like that. That's kind of oh, uh, dude. What makes these things dangerous, dude? I'm okay. No, no, no. That's a lot of damage. Let's be safe. Remember, dude, it's not even just fire damage now. It's also like burning or poison damage too, which is just like burning damage, but different. We play it safe. We don't have a way to cook our food. That's fine. Honestly, I'm, I, if I have to make an educated guess about what these new pilfers do, I, I'm assuming they just hurt you if they touch you. That seems pretty bad. Because, uh, you know, 25 hours into this game, I've pretty much conditioned my brain to ignore pilfers completely as a threat. Or even as, like, something that it has to be, like, taken into account when dealing with your boys. That might not be the best thing for me to, to have done. But honestly, like, when have they ever caused issues to me? Defensively, we're set. Nullstone gives us free rerolls in the shop as well, as long as we make use of it. Dude, I'm actually scared of these pilfers. <laughs> Golden popcorn, you take. Does it help us? Not really, but I mean, you know, we, we're going to need gold anyway. Shop, I'm, I'm gunning for something good. Free food is available. There is a potion, and there is also a free remove curse potion. Thank you very much for that. Don't get rid of the mimics. Okay. We're, we're narrowing it down. Do I want duplicate food? I'll be honest with you, not really. So we're going to reroll for free. We're going to see what we get. Whiplash Serum. Increase attack damage and speed when killing enemies. I like war paint because it works really well with uh, the the banner Is it a good item? Yeah, is it gonna help us on Ponzu? Actually, yeah, it will so I'm happy with that So now we have war paint in addition to the battle standard. I think we're fine We can also like go back and reroll some more because as long as we have like the null stone active We get free rerolls, which is really just transcendent for me it also does mean that we can go a little bit harder than normal, and I couldn't help but notice, and again, I'm not trying to be salty, that uh, Kurt Stash is three away, soon to be two away from popping open. Give me more swing damage, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, these curses are fine. They're manageable. Decrease potion duration, whatever. I mean, like, unless we start picking up a whole bunch of gold-based items and stuff like that. Oh my god, dude, did that pilfer, like, damage the... The thing and actually cause it to pop on its own volition hot and fresh in the kitchen hot and fresh in the kitchen making gold statues popping okay they do in fact do damage that is not what i like we're going down sorry hold on what was my parody gonna be hot and fresh in the kitchen making gold statues pop of their own volition that's that's really the only two lines that i can that i know well enough to make a somewhat decent parody of you found a bomb dude look at these double bombies and a free shop to start the floor i'm down for it all right nope Oh, but this one, though. Okay. There's a good chance that you're a potion, right? You're not an artifact or whatever it is that they're called. Whatever. Reduced physical damage. Could be good. It could be good. Is it uh your only relic from the shop good? Maybe. Maybe. We'll, we'll think about it. Ideally, like, you know, I would like to maybe reroll it a few more times, but I'm going to clear floors. And every every room that we get through without, yep, without it losing our, uh, what, what hit me? I swear I did not get hit. But every room we get through without getting hit and keeping our null stolen shield, we could just use the reroll. But I swear I did not get hit here, so, um, what's up? I couldn't have, right? Because if I were to have gotten hit once in that room, I would have gotten hit like a whole bunch of times because everything just does more damage. I gotta get rid of these demon pilfers, dude. They're so freaking spry. And their movement, it's like that of which I've never seen before, dude. I don't like it. No, 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 okay. Potential issues. With that being said, though, if I lose my Mimic Curse, I'm gonna be really upset because I just really like the Mimic Curse, dude. Devs? Look, 
I understand the game has the my sweet god. Stop getting hit by those freaking pilfers. Maybe I did get hit by pilfers. But there is a benefit because apparently the game doesn't recognize pilfers as enemies for whatever reason. So getting hit by a pilfer, sure, whatever. Give me the intensifier. We got the bramble vest. You might as well take the intensifier. Um, for whatever reason, getting hit by a pilfer doesn't count as getting hit by an enemy. So we don't take poison damage. I'll do this. <laughs> All right, well, maybe we can't do it. Get you. I was going to say, if there wasn't anything worth taking, I don't want to get more because of Kurt's dash, but that's worth taking. Okay. We're, we're, we could get more doubling potions on the floor where Kurt's dash uh, activates itself. We could. It's, it is, uh, like, a little unlikely, but are we going to be able to get the most out of it? I don't think so. Are we still going to be able to do, like, something good with it? I think so. And honestly, that's fine. It, it, Kurt's dash by itself does give a lot of a lot of items. So even doubling everything there, even twice, is still pretty substantial. So I'm not going to be... Ugh, these pilfers, dude. You know what? I was going to say... Do I really want to walk all the way back? I'll be honest with you, I don't. I know our HP is a little precarious right now, and this is probably what's going to get me killed, but I think we just continue down to the next floor. Kurt's stash is more than likely going to be popped open right now. So let's just let's be ready for that. Let's understand that's going to happen. And also, any food that you come across, that's, that's going to be banging too. I don't want to spend too much time picking up gold, only because I really do not like these pilfers. Oh, look, and I've already lost my shield, so that's good too. And sure, yeah, hit me with the poison damage too. We need to start playing safer. We, we have to, because everything is going really bad right now, and I really don't want to lose this run where I don't have to fight any bosses except for, like, one. So let's be safe. Benefits? You have Null Stone. Massive. What else? You don't have to worry about floors that have holes in them, or even, like, floors that have spikes in them. Those are two big hazards that always hit you that you no longer need to care about. Everything else is extra. You know what? Take the gold. I don't care. It's the Keyblade. Okay. Massive damage up. Unfortunately, sure, it doesn't do much for us right now. But it will get away from me. Dude, he's freaking gunning for me, man. Find the secret room for me. I dare you. You did find a potion for me. Unfortunately, I uh, couldn't help but notice it's the potion that I hate. So, thanks, Bobo, I guess. You I could just walk up to, right? Right, I lost my Null Stone. But also, that wouldn't have hit me anyway, right? Because I'm, I'm learning. Free food? Massive. Thank you. You know what? I don't know which one that was. <laughs> I think that's the one where, like, potions last not as long. I'm going for these duplication potions, dude. I don't care. Antimatter? Good to have. We're basically going to use it to heal up. Do I want the chest? I want to go for more doubling, dude. That one, I'm happy. Down it. This one, I hate to say, but I think this is a matter of, like, we need to use this, otherwise I'll probably die. So let's get ourselves up to full HP. Our key situation is bad. I almost opened up that Mimic, but I saw it breathing because your boy has finally learned to pay attention to his surroundings. Lots of food coming into the market. Have the gold. I don't want it, dude. That's all yours. All right. So now, you know, we knew it was coming, but we have the... We have the the option, I'm going to call it, to open up Kurt's stash. Do we want to do it on this floor with only one doubling potion? I hate to say it, but I think the answer is no. I think we do want to save it for a little bit. I mean, like, dude, honestly, hold on. Does the seller raid ability from the spirit not work because we're technically not opening chests? Instead, we're killing mimics? If, if there's one thing I've learned from playing this game is that vocabulary really does matter. In the words that they say. Much the same effect that, like, you know, you don't take damage from pilfers because they don't take... They're not considered enemies. But, apparently, it still counts. I don't know. So maybe we're not getting... Oh, my freaking God. Frobo! There's... No, no, no. Okay, these shadow pilfers gotta go, dude. They gotta go. I'm fine. I am getting a little frazzled. And I'll be honest with you, I usually never use the word frazzled. So you should know just how it is that I currently am mentally. I think we save it, dude. 
And honestly, we could we could do this for free, right? Remove a curse. Okay. Okay. I knew it was going at some point. It might be for the best. But we still have Kurt's stash. Hopefully we get a good shop that gives us a couple more potions. And he's reached level 3. Spirit will occasionally drop another potion when a potion is consumed. Alright, right now, everything's going banging. Sure, you got some, like, demon little pill. First to deal with, get away from me, dude. And Venom is probably the worst curse right now. Oh, dude, yeah, look at this. <laughs> nice try, cowards. What do you got? I got real excited when I saw something that wasn't purple pop out of there. And you know what? Yeah. It's starting to come together. Opening up everything. Massive, dude. We even got some po We even got some of the bombs back, too. What a great secret room. All right, we now have another doubling potion. Everything is starting to come out Millhouse. And it's even the popcorn kernels, too. It's not even the boring one. Code your weapon with poison. Just bring it down the hatch. Might as well try to get another potion out of it. Even if it doesn't work out for you, dude, I'm still happy with this. All right, now, now we can begin. Now, we're going to want to be incredibly selective of what curses we do take in the future. We still have, you know, it's, it's not a great chance, but we have a chance to get another deal with the devil. Um, I don't really know what I would want. I'll be honest with you. We're, we're kind of, like, loaded right now in terms of everything that isn't straight DPS, if that makes sense, right? Like, we have good survivability, we have good defense, we have good, like, even, like, stuff like, you know, what affects us and what doesn't affect us in terms of getting hurt. It just comes down to, like, our damage still isn't good, but now that we have the Keyblade, we can kind of do more with that. Alright. You get re-rolled. Easy re-roll, in my opinion. Well, now that we already lost the Mimic, might as well just keep going. Thank God, okay. So, Pilfers are now back to being adorable, somewhat debatably. Give me another re-roll. Simple chest... S plus tier item. Didn't help us necessarily in this situation, but it could potentially. We do have more stuff to play with now. Well, I think what we do is we get our null stone back. We start re-rolling a little bit more. I wonder how high you can actually go with that. Unstable concoction. Could be good with a golden popcorn, but doesn't really offer us any, like, immediate benefit. Unless we do want to bring, like, some uh, glycerin potions with us. Into it's a mimic, dude. It's a free, natural, ranged mimic. I never thought I'd see the day. What is that? That's a new potion, dude. Is it good? <sighs> Who knows, man. But I think we just play it safe. Remember, out of all the hazards in the game that you still need to be concerned about, oil is definitely one of them. You cannot walk on oil. So please don't put yourself in a situation where bad things are going to happen. Also, by muscle memory, I'm now scared of pilfers. What are you? Spawn larva. I mean, oh, dude, there's still, like, a full enemy on this floor. <laughs> is Spawn Larva good? Nah. Am I going to use it, like, at all? Probably, like, not even once. Unless, like, I'm probably going to use it to get rid of it, if that makes sense. But, like, Larva just doesn't seem that good of, a, of an item. So, probably not going to make too much use of it. Give me Deal with the Devil. I'm ready. Okay. That's fair. Do we just want to go? I don't think we want to go. I think we want to do a little bit more due diligence. We can get, like, at least one free reroll in the shop. And on top of that, then we can just bomb it and, like, get another one. So, sure. We're looking for doubling potions. Didn't get it. It might be worth picking this up to, get, to maybe get rid of the Venomous, but I think we just bomb it. And whatever we get, we get. All right. In a way, kind of worked out. Sure, we gotta pay for it, but we did get rid of it. My god, he's done it. Alright, get your free food. I think this overall is cheaper. Pick up the key. You still have 12 keys. Keyblade is in effect in this in our current situation. We continue down. We're making good time, man. You see how you see how quicker the game goes when you don't have to kill like all four Eldritchian beings? I'm happy. What's our do we have a good chance of beating uh Ponzu and, and clearing summoning stone eight? Yes. I, I'm, I'm more confident with this run than I was in the run that came previously. Okay, that's fine. Gonna be taking just a lot of damage in this room, apparently. Our weakness right now is that is throw damage. I, I hate to say it because it's usually a, it's an ability that I, or a skill that I, for the most part, do not care about. But I'm starting to notice that we do kind of need it every once in a while. Oh, dude, yeah, dude. Take a key. No problem. 
For the extra gold, is it worth it? Nah, but uh, at this point, I'm not gonna say no to anything. We still have one. We're one away from Kurt's stash popping open. Oh, dude. Okay, if we might need to be a little careful in this room. Because if that pot did in fact spawn a little bit of extra curses for us, we might have had a situation where it would have popped when I wasn't ready for it. But we did also get a free secret out of that. And it's a normal chest. That had a pilfer in it, my sweet god. Impish Key Potion. There's a place for that. Is it gonna be good? Like, nah, you know what, spawn the larva, give me a potion. Okay, that's fair. I really don't want to use the Berserker's Brew, like at all. Only because like I know how long these potions last. Like I, I don't even remember when we took that. Sure, give me the Totem of Life. I need a little bit of like base HP recovery. Plus with the with the meat cleaver, hopefully that means that we're gonna be getting some more food rather than than not. But also, if I could get like the golden tooth and then just heal myself from picking up gold, that's pretty much the dream right there. Please don't get hit by a wolf spider, aka the only enemy in the game that you haven't ever complained about, except for the first time you saw them when you saw that they were multiplying at an alarming rate and you were like, oh my god, that's unfair. I saw the pressure plate. I'm finally learning how to play this game. I'm so good. All right. Nice and safe. I'm a little surprised that we haven't come across any of the, the cursed torches. But other than that, like, this seems to be going pretty well. Shop, if you have, like, one doubling potion, I'm gonna pop open this, this, uh, this stash, huh? Okay. I think we do this one. Celtag is not good. What are you? Removes all curses, bombs, keys, and sets health to one. Oh boy. <laughs> um yeah, probably not going to be using that one. It, it does have it does have a place and I'm I'm happy that it exists. That's another spawn larva conductor. It wouldn't be the worst pickup for us. Why? We seem to be getting like a decent amount of the gold drops. And now I'm kind of wishing that I did in fact pick up uh the pilfer's ring just because I hate walking around to pick up gold. I know it's like, it's a huge character flaw, but nah, I got a free reroll. We're gonna keep going. Skulls, I like. You see the skulls, you take the skulls. I hate to say it, but it's gotta be done. I would also like to heal up a little bit. And although that doesn't really help us, I think we're just gonna bomb this and then whatever we get, we get. Okay, potion of plenty. At the very least, it's worth chugging down. Maybe getting something else out of it. I also see another secret room up here. Thank you. Give me the strength serum. I'm, we're gonna buy these and we're gonna hope to get something. That's 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 how we're gonna play this. Okay, antimatter potion is good. I'm 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 feeling positive. We get to choose. I'd rather have more HP overall than having uh, healing be worth more. We're up to 480, dude. This is pretty well. Now I hate saying it, and this is starting to affect our run. But I'm not gonna get another blessing, only because I really don't want Kurt Stash to pop. And you might be thinking to yourself, you're getting into a little bit too close for, like, too good to use syndrome. I don't think you're wrong about that, because we are now making choices that are probably worse for our run overall. Um, however, I don't care. Because I really... I, I, here's, here's the plan. Like, what's, what do you think is going to be worse? Not taking now three blessings, or... Or I guess, what, what would you... I guess it comes down to what would you rather have? Three random blessings... That you cannot choose from, or I guess you can choose from, but, you know, from a from a select pool of, of blessings. Or doubling uh, potentially good items and consumables more than three times. I think it's like, you know, for me anyway, it's an easy choice. Wow, dude. Bombushka. Our first bomb item in quite a while. It's like the entirety of the run. Is it good? No, it's not. Am I gonna forget about it and then probably get hit? Yeah, but that's okay because we have like the skulls and null stone. Wow, dude, that's that's a crit right there. All right, our our swing damage is starting to become substantial. Is it starting to become good? Yeah. I would like much more exuberance though before we. I'm, I swear, I was about to forget about Bombushka completely and walk into it. And also with all of our uh, bomb increase size, that's pretty bad. What do we get rid of? No idea, but now we only have less swing damage. Which honestly, 
is probably something that we do want to get rid of. So, sure, yeah. We, we see another purification potion or even a talisman or anything like that. We, we just, uh, we get rid of it, dude. I'm not attached to these curses anymore. At, at this point in the game, I'm, I'm kind of giving up on a, a deal with the devil. You like to see him early game? That was just bad damage that I did not care enough to move out of the way of. You like to see it early game, but after that, it's like, you know. My son! He's back. Alright, so this is great. Do we want to just get rid of this? Get something for nothing. I think we do want to get rid of our curse. I'm gonna like... Oh, dude, our blast radius is massive, too. Alright, not what I was looking for. You might be saying, why are you wasting all your bombs re-rolling that instead of, like, the relics? To be honest with you, that's a good point. What are you? Sometimes drop a new key? Nah. Alright, yeah, you absolutely take the crippling poison. It might be a little bit too late for the adventurer's hat, but I'm happy to have it. I could have sworn that I was going to synergize with the other boy. But that's the other one, so that's fine too. Drink the potions, dude. I'm just looking for something. We can access the secret room. We can just, like, straight up go down. Is that something I want to do? Yeah, that is something I want to do. Okay. So now we're at the point where I think we just pop Kurt's stash. And we, we desperately need to get it open. Probably this floor. Did I take the rainbow kernels? Thank God. Okay. Okay. Decisions need to start being made. This is a good shop. This is a quality shop. Two relics to reroll. Both of these I do not care about. Plus a couple potions. This is it. Yep. 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 You take the increased swing damage. Debatable on if you actually want this. And also, I'm like out of money. But I think you do one more. Salamander's Tail, I think, is... It's not that it's bad. Just drink this. For the love of God, make sure you pick up the rainbow kernels. Yo, you're not paying out, huh? I couldn't help but notice, but... That's what you want. That's what you want right there, brother. Actually, you know what? I didn't even know that we had these. Is this a waste? Yes. Because I'm throwing away basically 200 free HP, but at this point I don't care. Alright. Okay. I'm, I'm comfortable with popping open uh, Kurt's stash on this floor. I, I genuinely am. And also, it's it's coming at a good time because, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't have, like, any bombs or anything like that. And I would very much like to have some bombs. Please don't run towards me, Throbo. I know that's, like, your natural thing. Wow, poison really hard counters you. Alright, now we're good. Decent assortment of items. That's something I would like to reroll. That's something I would very much like to reroll. We're, we're still missing, like, we, well, I, I guess we're not missing it. But we haven't come across some of the more, uh, you know, the high tier items. Yes, transmute bombs, obviously a great item. However, like, I would love iron branch or, like, anything that increases raw stats. Also, I could have sworn I've been hit, like, four times in this room, but apparently that's not the case. So, really happy for that. This is it. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna, we're gonna pop open the stash. Give me more swing damage. Okay. Do I see anything good? Oh my god. Is that what I think it is? Can you rainbow kernel the rainbow kernel? You cannot rainbow kernel the rainbow kernel. That's fine. We've learned. Double it again. I'd like to very much just get out of the way here. Duplicate your items. Duplicate your items. Welcome. Okay. Keyblade maxed out. What are these potions? You know what? I hate saying this. Swap your items around. It's, I know it's not going to make sense, but we're still going to do it. Just don't accidentally, like, drink anything stupid. But we're going to take all these potions. And we're basically going to fish. Are you actually out of your mind? I was going to say, we're going to fish for... Uh, you might not want to drink those, huh? We're going to fish for, like, some more potions. But I guess that's not what we're going to do here. Instead, what we're going to do is lose your null stone because you walk into these corals that you keep forgetting are, in a, are a thing that actually exists. Are you telling me all these blessings we have is more food and lose less gold on death? I don't know about you, but that doesn't seem, like, really worth it. My god, man. Was this worth it? I think so. And honestly, we could get rid of that. Oh, dude, I do like that potion. No, 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 no. Not that one. Let's pick up the antimatter. Let's pick up things that we actually know that we want. Like, our keys and our bombs are huge. Okay, we now have, like, unlimited bombs. Oh, dude, more craftsmen. 
if we do die, we're gonna be in like completely fine financial situations because uh, we have four craftsmen and four hardiness. Those are both things that are not gonna help us at all against the boss, but that's fine, dude. Yo, Pilfer's gift, massive, massive gain. I think you take that for the synergy. I think you re-roll that. It's not that it's bad, it's just not good enough. Cracked Orb, happy to see it. It's been a while since we've come across it. Welcome back to the family. If we could find, now all we need, like really? Okay, well, I mean, this is a very obvious choice for me. Anyway, we're gonna take some Vigor because I do not need any more of that. Um, I think what we wanna do now is, what do we have? Yeah, these, these are fine. I, I, I just, I'm scared, man. That's all it comes down to. I would like to find the potion that swaps my bombs with my keys because I would very much like to have another, like, 200 experience or 200 extra damage instead of 100. Gold Tooth. All right. Is it a little bit late for it to make a difference? Yeah, but, you know, shut up. This is what I wanted, and now that it's finally shown up, your boy is happy. All right. All we need to do, and you might be saying, like, yeah, no kidding. Do you bomb this? How does this work? You do, in fact, bomb it. You do, in fact, pick up an, a useless amount of thorium. Thank you. You continue on. All we have to do now is uh, be Ponzu. That's it. We have three floors to get ready for him. We we have a chance of getting another deal with the devil. Is it going to be something that's going to help us? Mm. I actually, like, I don't know what I would want from him, right? Because we already have the Null Stone, and that's like... You know, if you could pick one, I think you pick the Null Stone. Throw it, dude. I dare you. I could out-DPS your throw. Don't ever challenge me ever again on this mortal existence. I don't know enough about the deal with the devil items to actually want something, right? Chakram would be the obvious ask, but I'm still kind of holding out hope that we do, in fact, uh, that we get Guidance instead, which works really well to crack the orb. The main problem that we have with that is that our build is not at all built towards swinging our build is a hundred percent or yeah our build isn't built at all towards throwing it's a hundred percent built towards swinging and we do it like really well if we if we did take the salamander's tail we probably would be in an even better situation but it does make transmute bombs a little bit worse and i do want to get the most out of transmute bombs because i did hear word that transmute bombs are going to become a lot difficult to get in the future, so I'd, I'm, I'm gonna make the most out of it now, which I think is fair. Yo, Iron Branch, though. I don't have money. <laughs> I'm like dirt broke, dude. Alright. We should be able to save up what we need, right? I really don't like how, like, look, if that's not gonna cause damage to me, don't let it take away my Null Stone, dude. You know, I'm not trying to be picky about it or anything like that. I'm not, and again, this isn't a situation where I'm like, uh, Devs, can you balance the game because I'm mad? No, no, no. But genuinely, please, if I have the Null Stone, don't take that away from me. But I do want Iron Branch. Inflation is adding, like, what is it, like a 10% buff to prices? That's eh, fine. I think we're good. Even if we can't get the, the keys flipped with our bombs, I think we're still okay. Yeah, remember, we do have the battle standard, which does make ourselves look a little bit more impressive than we actually are. So it's not going to be this good against Ponzu. And also, I, I mean, like, you also can't count on things like the, the Null Stone or stuff like that, just because, like, that's going to disappear so quickly. I promise you, I'm going to get hit, like, immediately. But with the mirrors and everything, we have a good chance. Is it worth taking? No, you get bombed, dude. You had your chance in the sun? That's what I want! Queen's Crown, throw damage, swing size, swing speed. We're getting chonky, boys. This is what I need. Maybe not having too many exuberances with me. Sure, it was a problem before, but I think now we're totally okay. All right. This is what we call in the industry a good run. Which means now, if I lose this run, it's 100% on me. We are, like, really low on gold. Sure. And you might have made, you know, we did, like, roll completely through Catalyst. I don't even, like, think I talked about it. Would have would Catalyst have been a good item for us? Sure. Um, it basically means every time we pick up a piece of gold, we heal for two HP instead of one. That's that's like pretty good. However, be aware of the shotgun. You lost your freaking shield, dude. My God. Be aware of the shotgun. It's something that you need to remember. But I, I don't think it matters. We we have so much healing going around, and then like all of our healing. Oh, dude. Thank you. Earth sign ring. 
624 HP in the bank. We're not gonna walk out of this run with a lot of money. Yep, got really scared there. Could have sworn I was gonna get hit, but this is going very well. We're not gonna walk out of this run with like a lot of money as, as we're used to, but that's basically 100% because we're not gonna be fighting Nori. Other than that, dude, even if we do die, what does it matter? Like, I have like three grand. I thought that was the damaging coral and not the normal coral. If I lose like whatever it is, like 40% of like three grand, who cares? We, we make that back in like a floor on the first floor, kind of, probably. Maybe a little bit less. And the cracked orb is going to help us too. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this. Caverns 3, any final decision making should probably be taken into consideration now. Five grand to spend. Do we want to give ourselves another blessing? If it's exuberance, yes. Absolutely. Bring that up to a three stack. This is the speed in which you want to get to. If you could get to the point where you can move your character around a little bit between swings, that's how you know you're good to go. So now, I'm ready for the boss. Five grand, which we can make use maybe in this shop, but I am kind of wanting to save these keys if that's okay. You know what? Nah, sure. All right, doesn't help us. I'm just gonna bomb it, dude. I just, I want, oh, he's done it. He's done it, baby. 95 keys in the bank and ooh, ooh, what's this? A potion of plenty. Bring it down. Thank you so much, sir. Transmute a carried relic. You know what? Sure. No! Oh! <laughs> my god, man. Um all right. We lost the Oh my god! Can I duplicate you into another thing? That's fair. What are you? Popcorn. Oh, like normal popcorn. Okay. This is this is great. What are you? Carry fewer potions? Honestly, that's fine. Whatever. My god, he's finally done it. I've never been so happy in my life. Get rid of this. Alright, a lot of stuff has happened. Um, that was... What a wild shop. So, we're able to get 95 keys. Transcendent. I have no, no more complaints about this run. Uh, we did lose Iron Branch, which is bad. However, it, it re-rolled itself into Guidance. Is that better? I mean, it comes down to, like, what would you rather have? Iron Branch or Guidance? I hate to say this. And this shows how much I've changed in playing this game. I'd rather have the Iron Branch. Actually, you know what? Give me that. Yeah, just clear yourself of anything that might cause issues. I think I... I given the choice between the two, Iron Branch, I think, is better. The problem with Guidance is not that it's bad. And I will never turn my, turn my back on my child and my baby. Um, it's just that... For it to, to do its most potent damage, my god, what is this room? In order for it to do its most potent damage, you gotta really like build towards it for the entirety of the run, and we've been building towards swing, so throwing is not really the best for us. Bottle Lightning, it's not that it's bad, but I gotta make up for stuff. Throw damage at low health, not good enough. Also, I'm just gonna check this out. Yo! Get the synergy? Why not, dude? Let's bring it in. I don't think it's gonna do anything for us on this floor, but... Might as well enjoy it while you can. This is what we call a chonky gold room. Which really isn't that much now that I look at it. Yes, they're 500 per nug. But like, what are you going to get out of it? Like, four nugs? Who cares? That's like two grand. Probably. I'm assuming anyway. Alright. So now, it's, it's the final test. I really don't want to have another like hour-long video where I just am so ready to fight Ponzu and then just get murdered. So we might want to maybe get some healing potions. But this is something I will do. Okay. Paid for itself, and then some. Uh, do we have any healing? Antimatter? Technically, it is a healing item. Um, it's a scary one, because remember, antimatter only heals for one, one hit of damage. Ponzu, and I think like most enemies in this game, usually have attacks that hit you multiple times, so... It's not the most reliable thing, but I think we're just gonna go down and, like, be okay with it. And not be a coward. You know what? Not really what I wanted to see. I think we do it. We have decent HP. We have fast swing speed. We have plus 188 damage from a single item. Float boots, defense, 
We should be okay. Wow, dude. You you really see the difference without having a... Okay, well, that's gone. You really see a difference without having a, the battle standard ready. Just get into it, dude. Yes, obviously, take. this is the one that you want to do your damage on. Take care of the ads as they become an issue. I, I, you know what? No, take care of the ads before they become an issue. Maybe that's how you want to be dealing with this. But this is going so far so good. I very much want to defeat the summoning stone. Because then, you know, the true challenge is going to be getting up to... That was good damage. That's how, that's how you want to... Okay, that's a lot of damage. My god, I think we just drink this. Please don't pop up here. Yo, it's poison. No! Okay. Am I panicking? Yeah, but I mean like, you know, shut up. Keep going. I have no idea. Apparently you can't poison this guy. That's fine. Hopefully if we could poison his, his children, that's all that matters. What attack are you doing? The one that I like? Thank you. Ignore, ignore the projectiles coming in from the bugs. I'm pretty sure that these rotating shields mean you just don't get hit by them. Which one? Which one? You? What attack are you doing? Not the one that you want to deal with. Alright, so you hide, and you're back up to full HP. But remember, pepper in a little bit of damage. That's what you're looking for. Win or lose, and I'm not sandbagging, I promise. This was a good run, exclusively because we've gotten two unlocks. That's a lot of damage, my god. Clear it out. Don't let it be alive when the fourth head comes up. It's you. He's doing the coward's attack. No, 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 my god, dude. My god, man. I'm scared. Kill it. No! Are you kidding me? Well, hey, if you like the episode, hit the like button. It really does help me out. Of course, you want to see more of my content in the future. Hit the subscribe button and join the Fae Tribe. My name is Faribol. I'm mad, and I'll see you next time. Oh, my God, dude. Ugh. 53 minutes.